Missouri Governor Mike Parson paid a visit to Kansas City this afternoon to meet with local law enforcement about violent crime and area state legislators. KCTV5's Leslie Aguilar is live at KCPD's East Patrol where that meeting happened. Leslie? Uh, Brad, right now the governor has a very narrow for focus for the special session he announced coming up. But in this private meeting that he had here, he did talk about other issues he wants to address in the regular legislative session that will also target violent crime. As we told you last week, there are six items on the agenda for the special session that will start next week. They include modifying endangering the welfare of a child laws for people who encourage children to commit gun crimes, creating a pre-trial witness protection fund, making certain witness statements admissible in court that are not allowed right now, requiring courts to determine if a juvenile should be charged as an adult for certain gun crimes, increasing penalties for people who give guns to minors, and getting rid of the residency requirement for St. Louis police so they can hire more officers. And as Brad just said, Kansas City had its 106th homicide of the year in that case of the woman walking with a baby. Governor Parson says the items on his special agenda are things the legislature can pass quickly and will have an immediate impact on law enforcement's ability to stop incidents like that from happening. When a person can't walk down the street safely and they have to worry every time they walk out the door that somebody's going to shoot and kill them, you know, there's lots of problems mixed in with that that we have to address. One of the things I know Representative now, the governor also mentioned uh, mental health funding as something that he wants to target in the regular session um, to get to the root of violent crime. And Jackson County Sheriff Daryl Forte told me that he also mentioned um, early childhood education as a priority um, in that private meeting that they had here earlier today. Reporting live in East Kansas City, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News. Leslie, thank you.